welcome to this LCAT News Meeting Update for January 3rd, 2018. I'm Jen Carlos. The Planning Board cleared its agenda on Tuesday of two prominent issues that absorbed much of its work at the end of 2017. In its first item of business for the new year, the Board took up the proposed development on Chestnut Street. The development would combine residential and commercial uses in a new mixed-use district to encompass specialty retail and office space, residential apartments, condominiums, and luxury townhouses on the 40-acre site. In a unanimous vote of members in attendance, the board recommended the addition of the district to the town council, which has the final approval for any zone change in town. Uh, do I have a motion to um, recommend to the council that 330 Chestnut Street assesses parcel 1830 um, be zoned mixed use on the zoning map? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Developers will begin clearing the site as early as March for the project, which represents a $100 million investment for the development partnership, and will largely replicate a project in Piscataway, New Jersey. John Taikina of m and Realty Partners says the upscale development is aimed primarily at millennials and empty nesters willing to pay for the amenities of concierge-style living. It's really set up for uh, for millennials for and for uh, empty nesters really is, is almost our, our biggest market. Um, but for better or worse, the empty nester that wants to live there doesn't want a retirement community. They, they want that vitality. They want the ability to have, you know, the, the, uh, the people walking around um, the place and, and that energy level that, that exists from, from living in, um, in this type of environment, this type of mixed use environment. Um, it's different. Also at Tuesday's meeting, the board voted to forward its proposed adult use bylaw to the town council. So I, I'm, I'm going to recommend, unless we've got real objections to any of this, I'm going to recommend that we, we vote on it tonight and let it go to council where it can be reconsidered. Mm -hmm. And they can, if they choose to, um, or if any of the public would like to further comment on it to the council and offer amendments, that, that, that would be the council's. Mm -hmm. And they will have two different opportunities to do that, correct? Yes, they will. Yes. Yeah, I would uh, like to move forward with that as well and get that over to council. Okay, so do I have a motion to recommend the proposed new bylaw definitions and special criteria relating to adult stores, clubs, and video theaters as in the draft? So moved with one stipulation. I would like a date on this draft so as the drafts are not confused with any previous drafts. Okay, we'll, we'll call this the draft of 1-2-2018. I'll second that. And the file is dated 1 2 2018 on the computer that I sent to Donna. So, further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Goes to the council. The final draft of the bylaw restricts adult uses to parcels available within the industrial garden districts only that meet setback criteria of 1,000 feet from school boundaries, churches, and residential parcels established in the bylaw. Now for this week's library learning segment, there are a few upcoming events. On Monday, January 8th from 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m., the East Longmeadow Library is hosting a Books and Babies event. Residents can drop in with their children for stories, playtime, and parenting tips. This program is sponsored by Pathways for Parents and is best for children up to age two. Also on Monday, the library's monthly installment of Read to Cassie, the Reading Therapy Dog will be offered once again. Beginning and reluctant readers will enjoy and benefit from reading aloud to Cassie, a registered reading therapy dog. Call to register for a 10 minute session between 4.30 p.m. and 5.30 p.m. And on Tuesday, January 9th from 6.30 p.m. to 7.15 p.m., Miss Jen will read a fun story for Pajama Night Storytime. This event is for children ages 3 to 6, and don't forget to wear your PJs. That's your meeting update for January 3, 2017. We'll be back next week with a regular edition of LCAT News Update. Until then, I'm Jen Carlos. Thanks for watching.